So let's find the substitution and income effect graphically. We'll start with the consumer's income and the price of food and clothing, and that'll give us an optimal bundle. So the optimal bundle will be at the tangency between BL1 and U1. So that's bundle A, and it has FA units of food in it. Let's let the price of food decrease. We know this is going to give us a new budget line. It's going to be rotated out along the food axis. And because we have a new budget line, we're going to have a new tangency position. And in this case, we're on a higher indifference curve. Our new optimal bundle is bundle B, and it contains FB units of food. In order to find the substitution and income effects graphically, we have to find what's called the decomposition bundle. This is a bundle that's located on a line parallel to my new budget line and tangent to my original indifference curve. So the way I like to find this is to put my pencil down on my new budget line and back it up until I get tangent. And then I draw a line, label it BLD. At that tangency, that's bundle D for decomposition, and it contains FD units of food. So because of this price decrease, we know that we have a change in the amount of food that we consume. And the total change is the difference between the food in my final bundle minus the quantity of food in my initial bundle. So in this case, FB minus FA. The substitution effect is going to be the difference between my decomposition bundle and my original bundle. So FD minus FA. The income effect is the difference between my final bundle and the decomposition bundle. So in this case, FB minus FD. So, recapping. The substitution effect goes from my initial bundle to the decomposition. The income effect goes from the decomposition to my final bundle. And the total effect goes from my initial bundle to my final bundle. If the income effect is positive, the good is a normal good. So that's the case we were looking at here, where the final bundle minus the decomposition bundle was a positive number. If you get a negative number, that means you have an inferior good. So if the quantity of x in your final bundle minus the x in your decomposition bundle is negative, that's an inferior good. You could also have an income effect that ends up to be zero.